this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get no delay on your mouse and keyboard in Fortnite. This is going to help you out so much especially with editing free building and basically everything which involves having super good mouse precision. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive straight into it. Europe Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping first guys have to do is go into windows type in device until you find the device manager just simply open it up again guys and all you have to do is go into human interface devices just simply open it up here and now you're gonna see your mouse and keyboard and as you can see from it's me, it's AG Pro Super Light, and my keyboard is the Steel Series Epix Pro. And what I want you to do is just simply right click on everything, which is somehow related to your mouse and keyboard. Go into properties, go into power management, and make sure that this is unchecked. Allow the computer to turn off the device. To save power, make sure this is unchecked. Literally for every single one of these here. Just simply always go here into power management. Make sure it's turned off properties again. Power management, that's already turned off and here as well. And this is just gonna make sure that they're like literally running at 100% is the easiest way to explain guys and it's just gonna make sure that you have no input delay you have no extra latency which is unnecessarily and unwanted especially in competitive gaming and yeah once you're done with just that, simply close this window now go to my website i give link in the description and download the zero delay and fps boost pack from here and follow me in part control I'm just gonna give you like a quick explanation. Optimus is your CPU to always run at the highest possible speed for gaming. And all you guys have to do is go into here. this drop down menu and always selected the bits and highest performance mode. And it's gonna apply everything automatically. You just have to put apply here. And then here down below, you can see the Bitsum highest performance profile, which is installed. And then you just gonna simply put on the Bitsum dynamic boost enabled. And after applied everything correctly, guys, you can see that your processor which is by also the displayed way. here on the left. Bottom side is always gonna run at 100% while gaming. Trust me guys um this is optimized. It's not like just 100% CPO usage thing um. Yeah your CPO is just gonna way work better way. with this program guys. Somebody make sure to press OK here. And afterwards if you applied everything correctly. You should see now in the power management options here. In the power options uh. The bits and highest performance mode and as mentioned. I've got a full on tutorial already on my channel. Which I'm. I'm just simply gonna leave in the description. I just don't want to stretch this out too much. Yeah, it takes quite some time to set this up. And with that we're side, pretty much done here with this step as and well. Yeah, guys, just make sure to copy all of my this settings. This will all apply for every PC, guys. So pretty much all you have to do under here this is, first option connection speed. You can see that you have to drag it all the way to the right side. So we utilize the maximum speed of our internet connection. Just drag it really here all the way to right. It should side. be maybe here on stop. I think it was on five megabytes. Just drag it all the way to right side. Even though your internet connection might not be as fast, you just want to make sure you utilize 100% of your speed. The next step on the network adapter section, guys. Just simply select exactly your um, network adapter for me because i'm connected over land it's here the real tech gaming gbe family control adapter just simply click on it and yeah you should be good to go if you're using a wireless connection guys then should probably show something else. but for me because i'm using it just land. shows my normal adapter here built in my pc and then next up you can see here that the first box is unchecked but the second one should be checked and if you're right now started this program this should all be probably great out and you should have no options here or you can like change anything and what I want you to do here in the first is click place. on optimal and then on custom. This is super important. Guys. In the first place, please click on optimal and then on custom because it's already gone up. Like some changes here and yeah. Then I'm, I'm just going to tell you now what you need actually, to change. Just make sure please to copy everything one by one. TCP window auto tuning. Just keep it on then disabled. And then for the congestion control provider. Please select CTCP guys. This is super important. It should be on cubic, I think on default. But we need CTCPM. So that we utilize 100% of our network and speed. And then on the next ones guys. Just keep it on enabled and enabled. This is also super important. And then as we move over to the right you side. You can see that I got my MTU on 1500. You can just keep it here on default guys. And then this next one here. We just gonna leave out and then on ECN capability. Just keep it on disable then enable disable. Disable and disable guys. You can just simply copy it as mentioned. Everything one by one here. And we pretty much done with this first page here. And then we just move over here to the advanced settings tab. And yeah, as you can see guys, here I've got also everything already optimized to the maximum. And then first of all, for the Internet Explorer optimization, make sure to put this on 10 and on 10. It should probably on something else. I think in the first place, like 500 or stuff like that. Just simply put it both here on 10. And then we're just gonna move over to the host resolution. Priority and guys, please copy everything one by one. Your local priority to 4, your host priority to 5. DNS priority to 6 and your NetBT priority. I'm on 7 and if you copied everything step by step, 
you should work 100% guys. And then, we just gonna move over to the retransmissions. Well. And then, boss simply keep it here on 2. And the second option on disable guys. Let me just come move over here again. To retransmission time mode RTO. And we're just gonna put in here. 2000 as your initial RTO and as a minimum RTO. We're gonna put it on 300. And we should have applied everything correctly. On this left side so far. Then we just gonna move over here to the, the right quality side. of service. The first one we just gonna leave out. And then here you're in LA. We gonna put on optimal one guys um. It should be on default thing normal. We're gonna put it on optimal one. And then next up here on the gaming tweet. Network throttling index this is super important guys. Especially for ping. Your network throttling index should be on disabled here. In the first one. And then next up here on the system responsiveness. We want it of course on gaming zero guys. So, thus please make sure to copy this one super here. Super important especially for Fortnite guys. And then next up here gaming tweak um. We're just gonna put the first option on here. disabled one, then enabled one, and then disabled zero again. Just copy everything as mentioned. And the next up here on the network memory allocation. We're just gonna put the LUT. System cache on default zero. And the size on default one. And once you finish here guys and copied step everything. Step by step just simply press apply changes. And this new window here should pop up. And we can see all the changes we just did Just here. simply go on OK. And yeah just overwrite everything. And it should ask you afterwards. If you wanna restart your PC, which I would recommend you. But obviously I can show you as well some more so steps. So first of all continue with the video. And then later on you can restart your PC. So, we just gonna click here on And note. you already applied everything. You can just simply close this program. And everything is already saved on your PC. <laughs> and you guys for this part of today's video. I wanna show you a program. Which is called timer set resolution. If you take actually a look here. It says current resolution. UM1000 or one with like three zeros. And there's a 1000 milliseconds, which means 1 millisecond and if you press on maximum, you can see that. You can pretty much reduce your whole entire delay. On Windows 10. On my health, which is only like 0.5 milliseconds now. The whole entire delay, and this works for any device. It doesn't matter if you're on control, mouse and keyboard, whatsoever. This works for everything. And this program is just simply really cool yet. With that said, we're done here as well, and as a next step guys, I'm gonna recommend you the Gear Up Booster, which Trade for apps absolutely free with the link Just in the description. Just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite. And it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game switch. I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS service. It's consistently also showing you, you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server. So therefore, as mentioned. Make sure you check it with out. With the link in description. Now guys have to do is simply search go to bar your and type in network until you find new network connections. Just simply open it up and they can see your internet connection. For me obviously, I'm connected via land, so they my real ticket. Dimming family controller is gonna pop up. Is like my network controller um? Just simply right click on it and go into property. So guys, and as you can this see, this new window here is gonna pop and up. And then we're gonna look for internet protocol. Version 4. And just simply double click onto it and they can see. Now your general optimization steps here. And what you guys need to do here is, under the second part, you can see use the following DNS server address. And what I want you to do here is simply copy. Everything I've got here. Your preferred DNS server should be 888. 8 and your alternative DNS server should be 88. For 4 and trust me guys, these are like overall the best service you can choose. You know them. This is gonna work for the majority of people. If it doesn't work for you, then just simply of course again go to automatically. But as mentioned this is something like, that works for majority of people. So please make sure to try this out yourself. Um for me it helped personally a lot. Like I'm right now in creative on zero ping straight up. Which is just truly insane guys. And yeah but that's. Have we already done here as well. We got just gonna step. close everything. Now guys have to do is simply go in search your bar windows. and type in apps. Until you find apps and features. Just simply open it up and first of all. You could probably hear in apps and features Treasure already. like skin through your PC. Just maybe you're gonna see like some applications, you know, which you don't need on your which PC, which are like unnecessary. But what I actually want you to do here click is click on offline maps guys and as you can see right now here, you usually have offline maps here, which are getting consistently updated. And this is all just running in the background, costing you so, so much RAM guys and if you actually disable them, it's gonna free up so much more system powerful which gaming. is insane. And afterwards, as well here by apps for websites, make sure to disable everything here. Like all these Microsoft services, you don't need this you're never gonna use like, I don't know, like a built-in feature of a map on a website. Only thing which I could think of is maybe Google Maps. But that's literally straight up in Google Chrome. You know like built-in? You don't need this on your PC at all and yeah, those are like super important things. And what I would also recommend is you. going to start up and simply make sure to disable all the programs, which you don't need necessarily, straight up while launching your PC. 
As you can see, I've got a whole lot of stuff here. I don't know everything from like Razer Cortex, Creative Cloud for my do Premiere Pro Epic Games. I do disable everything here from the launch, so my PC can just like start up super And smooth. everything is working super fast. Straight from the beginning because it can be really frustrating if your PC is loading like five minutes before you can use it actually. And with We're that pretty said, much done here with this step as well. We just well. need to minimize here. Everything and everything is already applied.